So it's a thumbs up from the pace car. Control of the pace will pass to David Longman in pole position on the inside. On the outside, our reigning champion, cart number one, is Steve Brown. Ben Yarwood on row two with cart 11, which is James Hattersley on the outside. Then it's uh, Brandon, Brandon Williams, Ian Blake. The charge is on to turn one. Longman's got the whole shot. Brown's going round the outside to secure a second and straight onto the bumper of our race leader, Yarwood, side by side. Contact with Williams and Hattersley. It's looking fairly frantic, and the front two are getting away. They've already pulled out three, four cart lengths as the group fight behind Yarwood in cart 27. Joe Holmes has moved up to fifth place in cart number 15. Down on the brakes. Oh, oh, there's heavy contact behind. And we better look up front because I suspect indeed we are. Steve Brown wasting no time. Using the spare time he's now got with the gap that this pair have got to take a shot. Just pull it off and Yarwood stays in third place. Brandon Williams looking for a way by Holmes. Jay Elliott has moved through to sixth. There's some warnings for contact. Well, no surprise really. Hattersley in cart number 11. Holding off. Whoa, listen out. Launches one down the, the inside. <laughs> what a move from John Listener. Got great drive off turn one was able to go through into turn two the field has settled down up front we've got a leading pair then a group of four and then we've got the, the front the front crowd led now by Jonathan Lissiter Hattersley coming straight back down the inside of turn seven he picks off is that Dan Healy I think it is yes it is and we come round to finish another lap You're missing nothing up, up front except Steve Brown closing back in and on to Ben Yarwood in the fight for the lead of heat number two. Not Ben Yarwood, that's David Longman in cart number 10. I've got my blue suits mixed up. So Brown looking for a way by. Longman runs a little bit wide. That might be a track limits warning. On the exit of turn four. Down on the brakes, into seven, goes in deep, eight, goes in deep, but it's still a cart length down into turn nine. Rounding out the lap, into ten, Brown goes in deep, won't be close enough for turn one, Williams has moved through, into third, Holmes in fourth. Elliot Yarwood going backwards here, down in sixth place now. I feel beginning to spread out there. Listener in seventh. Eighth is Pete O'Connor, minus number plate. Ninth is Blake. Tenth is Hattersley, under pressure from Healy. Darren Teal in cart number five. Stuart Martin. Tyler Mays and Dan Truman brings around the tail of the field. He's not last. I can see Jack Harding at the back of the field. Off the back. As my camera work starts to go a bit iffy. Looking for a dice. Healy has moved through. I think on Darren Teal. Patterson going backwards. Now on the nose of Stuart Martin as they cross start finish. Down the inside into one, gets it done, clean as you like. But he bounces on the curb on the exit. The track out, but he manages to hold off Hattersley. And David Longman is holding off the champion. He's got a couple of cart lengths on Steve Brown. And I think Brandon Williams is starting to come across. It looks as though Brown is going to wait for that mistake. He is uh, very efficient. Never seems to be uh, trying that hard. Smooth is fast and fast is smooth, as they say. And Steve Brown is pretty smooth. So it's still two cart lengths as they go down to two. Double apex corner 
you can call it two and three. This is turn four. You can see the reprofiling that's gone on to encourage overtaking. It's Longman still managing to hold on the best part of two car lanes, and Brandon Williams is coming across. And behind him, Joe Holmes is coming across as well. Brown might need to start stepping up the pressure or else he could find himself in a four-car battle for the lead. And there you see all bets are off, really. Down the inside, into the last corner. Well, we thought it was coming, it's come. As Longman got an immediate response. He's happy to follow. And I suspect Brown has waited just long enough for Brandon Williams to start to pick up the tour from David Longman, which will occupy Longman for a couple of corners, and Brown will be gone, I suspect. I could be wrong, though. Joe Holmes is in fourth place. Jay Elliott's off the back in fifth. It's a three-car dice for the lead now. Longman is determined to hang on to the race leader. And Holmes is coming in. It's going to be a four-way dice for the lead very shortly. Here comes Williams down the inside of Longman. That's clean. Puts his shoulder into it. And that's given Brown a couple of car lengths. Williams goes defensive. And that's allowing Brown to pull out at least a two or three more car lengths, and he's gone. Holmes coming through to third place. Elliott now is going to be trying to line up David Longman before the finish. <coughs> I do apologise. I've got a bit of a dry throat. It's all this wind, you know. So, Longman losing out to Jay Elliott. Oh, nearly put him in the tyres. <laughs> that was brutal. But they're still running. Now, we've got 1 minute 30 seconds left, so I think that's two laps as Brandon Williams got a surprise for Steve Brown. One minute left on the play clock. That means we've got two laps left. Brandon Williams has moved on to the bumper of Steve Brown. Now, is a surprise coming? I uh, remember Brandon from his time in Easy Card when I used to cover that. I think he was a junior then. He's grown up a little bit. Or rather a lot. He probably towers over me. But he's uh, come into Club 100. It's cheap, affordable racing. We take care of all the oily bits. You just concentrate on the driving. I highly recommend it. Well, I would. I am the hired help. So, coming round to start the final lap, it's Brown holding off Williams. And look, look who's here. Joe Holmes is quick here at Ella Park, and he's now moved on the bumper, and we have a three-way dice to the finish in heat number two of the elite class. At Ella Park, round five of Club 100 sprints. Williams now forced to make a move, and he wouldn't normally make it there, but he's pulled it off, has he? Holmes is going to do the pair of them in a turn four. What a move! It's side by side. Which way, which way are you going to block, Joe? Williams comes through. What a cracking finish to heat number two, and Elliott has arrived out of the blue. Down the inside of the pair of them. It's all back together, and Brandon Williams is going to win heat number two here. Two corners from the finish. Well, surprise, surprise. When it comes back together, all bets are off. Brandon Williams out the last corner. He wins heat number two in the elite class. Ahead of, well, was that Jay Elliott came through the second ahead of Joe Holmes? Steve Brown finishes in fourth. David Longman, Ben Yarwood, Pete O'Connor, Ian Blake, Jonathan Listener, Dan Healy rounds out the top ten. And I have to say, a fairly entertaining elite race. I think you will agree. <laughs>